was getting a bit frustrated. I was like, there's, n there's nothing, there's no doors being opened. It always seemed like a little circle. Um, so I took a trip to New York first and then LA, I went to both. Um, and I just did some acting classes at uh, a place called TVI Studios at the time. And they offered these like casting workshops. And I was like, what, what's a casting workshop? And they were just like, oh yeah, we bring casting directors in and they teach you and you get to learn from casting directors, but also you get to meet them and um, network and stuff. And I was like, this is amazing. And I did a few and, and like, I ended up keeping in touch with um, some of the biggest casting directors in the US. Um, and I got to obviously learn so much from these people who do the job every day. And this was 2011, I came back to England and I was like, right, I've got to find these like casting workshops, these are amazing. And I Googled it and I couldn't find, in England, no one was doing this and I was 24 at the time. And I was like, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna do it myself. I'm just gonna start, I'm just gonna contact them and just say, look, I have this new idea, I brought it from the US, contacted uh, all the ones from the CDG website, which is the Casting Directors Guild. Um, and obviously a lot of them was very hesitant, the casting directors, they were just like, oh, we don't know what this is, like, we don't understand. But a few of them, I think I got Carl Proctor, Manuel Puro um, for the first few people, and just started up a workshop once a month at Spotlight. Um, I think I did two back-to-back -back on like a Friday, um, and it's proved pretty well, everything seemed to be going well, and then over time, reputations built and stuff. Um, but it was just this mentality in England where you go to drama school for three years and you know everything, and that's it. You know all everything you need to know about acting. You don't need to learn anymore. You just you just go out from drama school and you go and you work and your career goes on. And for some people that happens, but very very few. Whereas what I found in America was like you are constantly having to sharpen your craft, constantly working, working, working. I ended up going to LA and working there as an actor. And I remember I'd be, I was in this class um, called Margie Haber's studio. And um, the actors there, it was like very sort of advanced acting. They would come to class and I would recognize them from TV. And I'd be like, I saw you on like CSI. And they would come straight from set straight to class. Really? That's serious? Yeah, because they were just like, I can't let this drop. I can't let this drop. And they were just literally, as soon as they wrapped, straight to class. And I was like, that would never happen in England. So I tried to instill this sort of like message, like, look, you need to keep this sharp. And that's why I teach audition technique. I, I obviously, I do so many workshops and stuff, just so actors know, like, you can't just, just go to drama school and know everything. There's so much more you need to know. But it's like any other thing. It's like if you were, um, I don't know, a martial artist, you wouldn't just do your black belt and be like, okay, I know everything now. You still do it. So I just, I like to instill this sort of, um, this empowerment to like keep going, keep keeping sharp, doesn't matter how successful you are, keep learning. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then hit the subscribe button to see more. And if you want to see the full length version of these conversations, hop across to our website at actors-anonymous.com. Check it out.